Is that not a fun bite? You know, swim jig is one of my favorite baits. Uh, has been for a long time. But one thing that's kind of overlooked in swim jig fishing is the trailer. Um, the trailer means so much. It, it affects the fall rate of the jig. It affects the action of the jig. There's just a lot of things uh, that it does. This here is a 2.75 craw chunk. I would say over 50% of the time, this is what I use in the summer, to, you know, spring, summer, and fall, just because of the action. It has that natural, like flowing action. Um, the reason I have the 2.75 on today is because the water is pretty clear, honestly. And I, I want that bait to get a little bit deeper. If it was dirtier, or I wanted that bait to float higher, I would go to the 3.25. Uh, you know, that'd be my choice just to keep it up there. You just gotta kind of think out of it. The more plastic on there, the higher the jig, you know, the more streamlined, less plastic you use, you know, the, the lower it's gonna go. This is the Yum Craw Chunk. This is what I'm using today. Like I said, it's got a lot of action. I'm gonna use that spring, summer, and even some into the fall. The middle one here is the spine crawl. If I want, you know, it doesn't have a lot of plastic down here, so it's really finesse. If the water's real clear and I wanna move the bait real fast, I want my jig to fall fast, you know, I'm gonna pick the, the spine crawl. The Christy Critter, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a little bit of everything. It's got some good moving action. It's got quite a bit of plastic, you know, so it can kind of be used in a lot of different situations. Those are really the three main that I use. Now you get into, Using those three, it's a lot of, you know, swimming the jig and actually pumping it. But there's times, you know, shad spawn or just fishing around docks or things like that. Like I just want to reel the jig almost like a swim bait and I'll go to an inline trailer like the Yum Pulse. Uh, you know, and it, it really just, it acts like a swim bait. But the cool thing is you got the weed guard. I can throw it up there in the weeds around docks, you know, and I'm not going to get hung up. So really those four trailers are what I use 99% of the time. He could not stand it off that little weed clump. I think a lot of the reasons they eat in the bait good today is the right trailer. You know, the swim jig's awesome, but you, with the right trailer on the bait, you can turn a good day of swim jig fishing into a great day. So the next time you're out there, just make sure, you know, you're picking the right trailer based on water, water color, water conditions.